Hello friends welcome to the chapter 4 unit operations the objective of this chapter is to deliver basic knowledge of unit operations employed in functioning of pharmaceutical industries in pharmaceutical industries various unit operations are used to convert raw materials into finished dosage forms amongst those operations size reduction size separation drying filtration and extraction are described in this chapter pharmaceutical powders are either mono dispersed or poly dispersed particles of mono dispersed type are ideal for pharmaceutical applications whereas poly dispersed powders create considerable difficulties in their processing for production of dosage forms in order to obtain uniform size particles powders are to be reduced in their size by size reduction size reduction is a process of reducing large solid unit masses into small unit masses coarse particles or fine particles the main objective of size reduction is to produce small particles with large surface area from larger ones The most commonly used equipment for size reduction includes hammer mill and ball mill. A hammer mill is used to crush, pulverize, shred and grind material to suitable sizes. It operates on the principle of impact between rapidly moving hammers mounted on rotor and the stationary powder bed. Hammer mill consists of five main parts namely crushing chamber made of steel casing hammers central shaft motor and a sieve it uses either gravity or metered feeding systems this mill operates at a high speed from 2500 to 60000 revolution per minute the output size of the particles depends on the sieve variation Ball mill is a type of a grinder that grinds and blend materials to reduce size by impact and attrition as the balls drop from near the top of the shell through the cascading effect. Ball mills are used primarily for single stage fine grinding regrinding. It can be used either for wet or dry grinding and can produce final products between 0.074 mm and 0.4 mm in diameter size separation involves the separation of a mixture of various size particles into two or more portions by means of sieving surfaces it is performed by sieving sifting or segregation size separation is based on physical differences between the particles such as size shape and density the main objective of size separation is to characterize particles of irregular size and shape the standards for powders for pharmaceutical purposes are given in the indian pharmacopoeia depending upon the degree of coarseness or fineness of a powder the indian pharmacopoeia specifies five grades of powder namely coarse powder moderately coarse powder moderately fine powder fine powder and a very fine powder cyclone separators and sieves are described as equipment used for size separation of powder cyclone separator removes particulate matter from air or other gas streams and from the liquids it mainly consists of the tangential inlet to feed the materials inside the chamber and a solid outlet and fluid outlet to separate fluid and solids it works on the principle of centrifugal force to separate solids from the fluids cyclone separator consists of a cylindrical vessel and has no moving parts and available in many shapes and sizes it comes in 1 to 2 cm to 5 m diameters 
A sieve is used for separating desired elements from undesired material or for characterizing the particle size distribution of a sample. It is made up of using a woven sieve such as a mesh or net or metal. Coarse particles are separated or broken up by grinding against one another and sieve openings. Generally, pharmaceutical sieves are made up of stainless steel, brace, bronze, etc. and are not coated with any material to avoid wear and tear as well as contamination in the products. Sieves can be classified based on design or based on mechanism of sieving. Sieves used in pharmaceutical industry must comply with the standards given in pharmacopoeia. The mixing is a randomization of dissimilar particles within a system. It may be performed between any two phases ranging from mobile liquids to viscous liquids to semi-solids and solids. It allows heat and or mass transfer to occur between one or more streams, components or phases. The objective of mixing is to ensure uniformity of composition between the mixed ingredients that represent overall composition of the mixture. Other objectives of mixing include reducing particle size, manipulating rheology, dissolving components, facilitating heat transfer, etc. Mixing is a common process step in the manufacture of products for industries and in this chapter, double cone blender, turbine mixer, triple roller mill, silver sun mixer and the homogenizers are described. The removal of solids from liquids can take place by straining, flocculation, coagulation, sedimentation, and surface capture. Filtration is a mechanical or physical process of separating suspended and colloidal particles from liquids or gases by interposing a medium through which only the fluid can pass. Filtration is the common operation employed in the production of sterile products, bulk drugs and in liquid oral formulation. The suspension of solid and liquid to be filtered is known as the slurry. The porous medium used to retain the solids is described as the filter medium. The accumulation of solids on the filter is referred to as the filter cake, while the clear liquid passing through the filter is the filtrate. The pores of the filter medium are smaller than the size of the particles to be separated. The main learning objective of filtration is to separate solids from liquid or gas medium. The flow of any liquid through any porous medium offers a resistance to its flow. Thus, the rate of filtration in such cases is expressed as ratio of driving force to the resistance by filter medium. The process of filtration can be expressed by two theories, namely gas filtration theory and liquid filtration theory. The latter is described by kozeny karman equation. Poiseuille's law and Darcy's equation. This operation is described with information on membrane filter and sintered glass filter. Drying is often a final step in production of pharmaceutical products. In majority of pharmaceutical intermediates or finished products, the solvent removed is water. It is performed to retain final product quality 
and to avoid the deterioration of the product due to presence of solvents. These solvents are removed by using suitable drying equipment. This operation is described with fluidized bed dryer and freeze dryer. Fluidized bed dryer is widely used in the granulation process to attain desired moisture levels in the granules or powders. Conventional fluidized bed dryer include batch fluidized bed dryer, semi-continuous fluidized bed dryer, well-mixed continuous fluidized dryer and plug flow fluidized bed dryer. Fluidized bed dryer has a high drying rate and the material is dried in a very short time. Material remains free flowing and uniform. Freeze drying also called lyophilization is a process in which water is frozen in pre-freezing step followed by its removal from the sample during primary drying step. Initially by sublimation followed by desorption and finally by diffusion at slightly higher temperatures in secondary drying step. The equipment used to dry solutions or suspensions at or below freezing points of liquids is called as freeze dryer. It is used in the manufacture of pharmaceuticals and biologicals that are thermolabile or otherwise unstable in water or moisture for prolonged storage periods but that are stable in the dry state. Extraction is the process of isolation of active ingredients from raw materials of either plants or animals or directly from the natural sources with the help of solvent. The transfer of the components from the feed to the solvent depends upon the solubility of each component in the corresponding phase. Two phases obtained upon extraction are extract phase and raffinate phase. The solvent is recovered by separation using distillation. Using extraction, Plant constituents are isolated from the rest of the plant matrices to obtain pure compounds of interest for their characterization and use. Extraction can be classified as liquid-liquid extraction, solid phase extraction and solid liquid extraction. Some of the commonly used extraction methods are maceration, percolation, decoction, digestion, infusion, sauce-lit extraction, sonication extraction, accelerated solvent extraction, and supercritical fluent extraction. Extraction is used in separation of antibiotics and for protein recovery. Recovers high boiling components obtain therapeutically active constituents from plant parts, extraction of fixed oils from seeds, etc. At the end of this chapter, a list of short, medium and long answer questions is given to assess your preparation. Thank you.